it is so cold. My hand is so cold from wandering around outside that I'm having a hard time just pushing the buttons on this thing. Now, in the light of day, um, there's been a couple more issues that have presented themselves. First of all, this boat's only been sitting in the water for a week, but it was raining this week, and this hatch is leaking so much so that there was water on the on the couch. Uh, again, that was not unanticipated, so I have all the parts, and I'm looking forward to when the boat goes for its canvas. It's going to be in inside storage, so I can get work on the that is priority job one. Uh, another thing we discovered, Anchor Girl actually uh, saw it yesterday. First thing was the door that comes in, the companionway door. That handle is all gone mungy, and so I'm gonna order another one. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about with this latch. This is just rubber, and it is, well, it's at the end of its life cycle. So uh, one can buy, again, through C-RayParts.com, uh, uh, and I will leave a link because there's craparts.com and there's c slash rayparts.com. That's the one that you want to go to. That one is partnered with Flounder Pounder Marine or FP Marine. Um, yeah, so if you want to check it out, they have all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff that I've already ordered for this boat through them. So I can get this entire piece. I just have to measure the back set. Uh, I think it's five and a quarter or five and five eighths from the latch to get the crack one and these come in this aluminum finish white or black and I'm just gonna go with the aluminum so it looks factory and then order extra keys yeah so I'm gonna be ordering that part from craparts.com and that's c-raypartz.com there's a craypartz.com not affiliated don't know I think it's a bit of a scam site um, or you can just go to FP Marine Flounder Pounder Marine and it's two sites in one as they advertise tons and tons of sea ray parts so there's that that I'm ordering there is also a piece that is at the windshield vent uh, I have to just measure that quickly before we go and get that ordered and yeah that's about it so busy busy couple days very rewarding Are you doing any work today, Bobo? Yes. Okay, how's that coming along, real quick? It's coming along. Okay. See, the situation here is that uh, a prior owner had a black dog, and that fur is uh, has found its way everywhere. But I'm going to say it's better than somebody who smoked on the boat because you would never get rid of that smoke smell. Exactly. Yeah, just came back out to the helm and just looking around and whoa <laughs> that wind is hitting us dead on to the uh, port side and it is rocking and rolling this big beautiful boat <laughs> Everything looks so much better now. Huh? I said everything looks so much better now as I talk to Anchor Girl. So I just want to show you real quick what I'm doing down here is uh, much the same what Anchor Girl is doing inside the boat and that is doing as much cleaning as we can before the boat leaves here. Uh, as I mentioned there was uh, quite a bit of residual dog hair that has found its way <laughs> into every little nook and cranny and crevice. And so given the fact that we are getting new uh, carpet put throughout the boat, we just want to get, you know, as much of the uh, um, 
as much of the cleaning as we can done, the preliminary cleaning before that happens. So I've been cleaning all around here. And the problem is, not the problem, but the situation, uh, same as we had on the last boat. And I think it may have showed you in the video where I was crawling around here previously. These weather strips that go along here after, the, after a while, the glue does not glue anymore, so it becomes unstuck. And then they flop and flail all over the place. And then that flips over and it lands on the rails. It doesn't seat properly on these panels. And so now every all the surfaces just become sticky and perfect magnet for, you know, hair and dust and dirt and everything else. So what I am going to do, rather than struggle with this, I am going to simply replace all these guys. So I'm, this is the last one I just got to peel off. The other ones I tossed into, follow me, that cabinet over there. And I'm going to find replacement pieces and do them all correctly and well. But again, it's not just a matter of peel and stick. I got to clean off the old backing from the old stuff, which is super stuck. There's like a piece of cellophane in between or something. So I could clean that with uber duber cleaning good with uh, lots and lots of acetone and then cut them to fit and get them all in there. Actually, the only one that is still doing what it's supposed to is this one right here. So I'm going to put all these panels back in. Ooh, I better give that a wipe first, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Again, we're not going to be able to have this 100% just yet. We don't have the time. This, today's our only day. So I'm going to go around again, just give everything a quick wipe and then put all the uh, panels back in and then tackle it at a later date once the boat's home. Now, one other thing I did was just give everything a quick vac and a quick wipe down of the engines, transmissions, floor as much as I could reach. And like I say, just to get rid of uh, any loose stuff that's flying around in here and to make it look a little bit prettier. And so it's, uh, it's coming along really well. Not bad for just anchor girl and I here for a day and I did the same thing down here now this is far 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 from finished but like I said I just want to give the heavy stuff a wipe and as I mentioned in the previous video I'm gonna pull all the batteries out clean all the terminals clean that super super good down there make it all happy um, now one thing that I'm not sure if I mentioned or not but I have a new uh, pump for the vacuum flush it's already sitting at home so once again once the boat comes back uh, give that a good service, replace the pump, the bellows, the seals, as well as the duck bill valves. Uh, God only knows when they were replaced last, so just a bit of preventative maintenance. The toilet is flushing now good. I know because I've used it a couple times in the last uh, day and night. So yeah, now I'm just going to put this all back together and close this down. Then we can wipe this floor back here nicely. So a couple things that we did today, well, what we did all day and half of yesterday uh, is do as much pre-cleaning as we can because as I mentioned, or as I have alluded to, we are gonna be replacing the carpet. That's the next shop, stop on the way. And so we just wanted the floor clean so when the new carpet goes down, it's good to go. There is still a lot of detail cleaning to happen here. So I'm gonna show you something real quick. I'll show you some still photos that I took of uh, cleaning the vinyl. Remember, a lot of this was exposed to the sun and I guess the rain and whatnot. So it got really dirty, but that came up beautiful with acetone. Don't use acetone on vinyl, Paul. It works great, works beautiful. So I did a test area over there as well. Yeah, as well as this one. Yeah, and then Anchor Girl's going to condition it. Now, I know a lot of you guys will say, don't use acetone on vinyl my recommendation is don't use that store on vinyl i've been using it for years no issues no problem if you want to try it yourself do it in an inconspicuous area and see how it goes now the only thing it it will potentially dry out the vinyl so as i just mentioned anchor girl is going to be conditioning it we have nice 3m vinyl conditioner works beautiful makes smooth like a baby's bump okay anyways i will get back to you on the next one and i'll see you then I'll look for you uh, look forward to your comments on this one. See ya. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> cheers.
ready to fall asleep, aren't you? I'm beat. Busy, couple of days, but very rewarding. I'm aching and I'm beat. Me too. We're going to get ahead. 